Hey yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome back to more Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. We're a walkthrough, not a playthrough, with my triple katana build. And uh, yeah, welcome back. Today we are gonna be go, uh, taking on the old Demon King. So that means we are gonna have to go to the Smoldering Lake. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on over there. We're gonna want to go to the abandoned tomb bonfire. So let's go. All right, here we are. Uh, before we go any further, let's go ahead and equip Homer Bone because I want to have some Homer Bone on me. Uh, yeah, before we take on the boss, I do want to get some. I don't. I want to get four items that's gonna be up here in the Smoldering Lake. Um, there is like a whole new entire Smoldering Lake, like uh, near the underground area, which we'll take on in the next episode. For now, I just want to clear this upper area here. We just got blasted. Yeah, don't worry about the bliss that is shooting us. Just keep moving forward. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take on the entire smoldering lake later uh, in the next episode. Right now, I just want to get the four pickups that I want up here. Because I don't want to have to rerun this later on. So, yeah. And our first enemy we want to kill is the this worm right here. Okay. So, you can either let the blister kill it for you. Or you can help the blister kill it, I guess. So, you know, just stay kind of close to him. And when it gets up, come on. Don't try to attack him while it's moving, because you're gonna get hit. Um, so that when it gets up like that, you know, just get. Ah, oh, shit! One or two hits! And um, back away. If it sticks up its head like that, you know, you can go to. Well, you can go behind him and hit him. Assuming the blister does not hit you. It's kind of. It's kind of bullshit how the blister can go through the worm. I mean, like, what the heck? But yeah, um, if the blister hits the worm, it can also damage the worm. So uh, we're just gonna wait for him to stop like spinning and shit. Okay. Oh, I. Okay, I thought it was gonna stop there, but oh my god, I'm getting combo between the worm and the blister. Jesus. All right, you guys are done spinning and shit. All right, good. There we go. So yeah, upon taking down the worm, it'll give you the lightning stake, and also it will uh, give you undead bone shard, so that is pretty good. So we're just gonna get some stuff here, and the way to dodge the blister, you can you can actually dodge it by moving left and right. You know, just time it, and yeah. And we just got the shield of want. This is actually a Dark Souls 2 shield here. So I think it's like a boss shield too. Like throne defender or no throne watcher stuff. I think I'm not sure. And here is the lightning stake, the miracle that we got from the worm. So that is three items down. Uh one more to go. So I just want to kinda of keep an eye on the ballista here. I mean we can always tank the damage, but kinda of wanna dodge it instead of getting hit constantly. Son of a bitch. Alright, so yeah, the final item is going to be behind this wall, so you want to bait the blister to shoot you now. So you can either dodge it or take it up to you guys. And um, yeah, behind the wall there is another ring. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out the ring. We can just hide behind this tree here. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the ring. So yeah, there you go. It has a good amount of resistance, so that's pretty good. It's a pretty good ring. Um, Next... This is kind of pointless, I'm just going to do this for the hell of it, but we can get um, a Chaos Gym. So yeah, let me just show you guys where to get another Chaos Gym. So you can just, if you stick to this left side right here, you won't have to deal with the crafts. Just stick to the left, alright? Don't even move over to the right, just stick to the left. And keep hooking the, the rocks, and eventually you'll see that pickup right there. Ugh. So, just, just go ahead and get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on get oh my goodness. <laughs> this freaking ballista, man. Alright, so there we go. Chaos Gym. Let's just go ahead and dodge all three shots before we teleport. Let's dodge and left. Oh, what the fuck. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're finally done with all those item gathering. Uh, let's finally go and take on the boss now. So out yeah, the old Demon King, um, this guy should be pretty easy for us now because we're pretty high level. And the reason why 
I waited until now to take him on. It's because this guy, this boss, he likes to spam pyromancy and it is crazy. That shit, like he spams. Oh my god, it's so fucking annoying. That's one of the reasons why um, I waited till now to take him on while we're higher level. And another reason, it's because um, we can do a side quest here and we can summon an NPC and if we manage to keep her alive throughout the entire fight, um, we'll be awarded with her set and her weapon too. So that is another reason why I wanted to wait until now to take this guy on, all right? Because we could, we could have just fought this guy earlier on, but there's a high chance that the NPC won't make it through alive. So yeah, because all of that pyromancy spamming from the boss. But since we're pretty OP now, hopefully we can dish out enough damage to the boss before the boss does any crazy shit to the NPC and, you know, ends up killing her. So yeah, uh... Let's, let's do this. Um, so when you first get in here, you know, you want to stay behind him right here. Just try to stay near his tail if you can. If he does a melee move, dodge into it. Uh, oh shit, watch out for the follow-up. Yeah, that little AOE blast. It doesn't hit hard, but you know, just still watch out for it. Uh, not going to make the same mistake twice. Get out of here. Alright. Um, just want to kind of stay near his tail and just dish out damage there. If he spits on the floor like this, best thing to do is run away, but since we're uh, pretty OP, fuck. We're pretty OP, we're just gonna kinda try to tank it. No, no. Okay, calm down there, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why, but I should stop underestimating that reach of his stupid little staff. Alright. I don't know how, but that, that little fire breath kinda glitched in the window. But yeah, it's okay. If you guys got fire resistance stuff, you know, it's, it'll help if you slap that on so you can boost your fire resistance. But yeah, we're just gonna stay near his tail right now to dish out some damage. Uh, okay, if he, if you see him doing this, he's just like stomping his uh, staff to the ground like that. Be careful of that ring of fire. You can either run away from this or dodge through it. Alright, if you see him like kind of drawing stuff in the sky right there with his stupid little wand, um, that means he's gonna summon meteors, so you can avoid the meteors by either running away or dodging left and right. Uh, but you know the the running away will work better. If you try to dodge left and right, this is it's a slight chance you're gonna get tagged by it. So yeah, um, up to you guys what you guys want to do. A ring of fire again. All right, let's dodge through it this time. Okay, that's good. Uh, combustion. You can either dodge through it or run away from it. But yeah, this guy's move pretty much you either dodge away or, or you either dodge or you run away. It's it's either or. If you see him doing this, okay, he's kind of like getting tired or whatever. Watch out for that AOE blast. We were too close, but yeah, what once he does that AOE blast, he's pretty much done. He does he doesn't have much in him anymore. So yeah, it's pretty much game. Just keep on doing damage to him. Sometimes he'll try to take a swing or what, but it's not gonna be a full on combo. So don't worry about it. Just, you know, stay behind him and dish out damage and you got him. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the old Demon King. Let's go ahead and get that armor set now since we got the NPC through alive. Uh, we're just going to have to go to the Undead Settlement and we have to go to the Cliff Underside Bonfire. So let's go. Alright, so here we are at the Undead Settlement. And from here, just keep on going up. And the armor set will be right next to the cage where we found the Pyromancer NPC. So yeah, don't worry, it's not his his set. Uh, he's still alive, so you know, don't worry about it. But it's just gonna be right next to it. So let's just go ahead and take out the fireball dudes. And the armor set is right here. Check it out, the core next set. We we'll also get a whip for that. Oh yeah. So yeah, um. Yeah, if you try to take on the old Demon King on a lower level, it's gonna be a lot tougher. Uh, if you want a challenge while fighting that guy, I suggest you probably don't want to try to go for this side quest. I mean, you can, but it's gonna be tough trying to keep the NPC alive on a lower level though. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, um, that is pretty much it for that. Um, I do want to get a ring that we haven't gotten here. Uh, because it's gonna give us fire resistance, so that's why I want it. So we're just gonna, we're pretty much just gonna head on back to kind of the beginning area, and just just 
you know, kind of backtrack over here and we're just going to do a little speed run. I'm not going to deal with all these guys. Only the ones that block my way. There we go. Just come through these barrels and keep on pushing forward. There's going to be a guy that's going to be hiding on the left side. Let's go and take care of his ass. And there's going to be another one that's going to try to jump attack us. Yeah, nice try. And now we're just going to have to get up this ladder. Whoa. Take care of this guy, whatever he was trying to pull. And... Uh, just come on over here. Drop down the roof. And we still got one more NPC to deal with. Um, and it's going to be the cage guy over here. Which he should be pretty easy now because we got uh, a, plus a plus 10 weapon and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, this takes two combos and he's down. And this corpse is going to be the corpse that contains the fire stone plate ring that we want. So, let's just... Oh, fuck. Really? We're stuck? Come on. Come on. Wow. Oh, okay. Got worried there for a second. So, let's just... Let's just go ahead and... Uh... Kick it. And press X. There we go. Whew. Yeah. You just gotta spam that sucker. Spam X. And uh, hope to God that you get the ring. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to... Either try to snipe it or whatnot. It's kind of a pain. This, this ring is a real bitch to get. But anyways, let's let's get the heck out of here. Uh, I'm just gonna homer bone it back to Fire Link, and I'll see you guys there. All right, we are back in the smoldering lake, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably just gonna cut out the part where we port it back to Fire Link because didn't do much there. All I did was just I went back to power up my Estus. So yeah, instead of plus eight, it's plus nine now. And that is pretty much all I did. I didn't do anything else, didn't do any leveling up, didn't, didn't do any powering up for my weapons. I just used my undead bone shard. <laughs> that was it. So yeah, I'm probably just going to cut that part out. Because it's pretty much nothing. So yeah, um, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. So I thank you all for watching. And I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful. And enjoyable and if y'all found all three of those qualities to be in this video then a hey, stay tuned for the next one because we're gonna be taking on the smoldering lake the entire area this time so yeah until next time i'll see y'all later homes out